Hello, friends. You are watching a read aloud with Mrs. Rozier. A platypus, probably. Written by Sneed B. Collard III. What is that strange creature paddling down an Australian stream with its legs straight out and its eyes and ears closed tight, half lizard, half beaver? What could it be? A platypus, probably. One hundred ten million years ago, in ancient Gondwana land, platypus ancestors swam through steamy forests and tickled the feet of dinosaurs. Today, the dinosaurs are gone. But the platypus remains a warm-blooded mammal different from all others. That incredible bill, shaped like a duck's but soft like leather, it is packed with hundreds of tiny cells. The cells can feel and touch. They can even feel electric currents from the bodies of other animals. Waving its bill back and forth and using its wonderful webbed feet to swim, the platypus explores eucalyptus-lined streams. When its bill touches another animal or feels the electricity from its body, the platypus attacks. Worms, mussels, shrimps, tadpoles, even the larvae of insects found walking around the river bottom. The platypus stuffs them all in its cheek pouches and carries them to the surface. With no teeth for chewing, the platypus crushes its food on hard grinding pads inside its bill. Meal finished, it swallows, takes a breath, and dives again. 10, 12 hours a night, the platypus dives and paddles, always searching, always hungry. Two tight layers of fur keep it warm in the chilly streams. But even the platypus must stop to rest now and then. One moment we see its brown swimming shape the next, it disappears into one of the many hidden burrows it has dug with curving claws. While the sun tracks across the Australian sky and kangaroos forage along the banks, the platypus sleeps. When dusk arrives, it wakes and slips back into the stream, covering miles alone, under the patient moon, till dawn. But for platypuses, spring brings a new routine. Two males see a female, armed with a venomous spur on each hind leg. The males fight. Only one of them wins. In sparkling waters, the male and female circle around each other in a courtship dance. Soon, the female platypus digs a nesting burrow up to 60 feet long. At its end lies a nesting chamber that she packs with leaves carried under her grasping tail. Everything ready, she crawls into her retreat and seals herself safely inside. The female platypus doesn't give birth or raise babies in a pouch. Unlike almost every other living mammal, she lays eggs. One, two, sometimes three precious jewels. For a dozen days, the female platypus curls around her eggs, incubating them, keeping them safe. Finally, the platypups hatch and slurp milk from their mother's belly. 
The platypus babies grow fast. At six weeks of age, all covered with fur, they open their eyes, ready to poke their heads into the world. After four or five months, they drink the last of their mother's milk, and on one dusky evening, they set off into the stream to find their own territories full of food and shelter. One swim past the fisherman and his son. What is that? The boy asks. The man scratches his chin. He smiles. A platypus, probably. That's all for today, boys and girls. I hope you've enjoyed this story all about that strange mammal, the platypus.